Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for our eighth round contest. Please join me in welcoming in all the way from Spain via Nicaragua, Berman La Cobra Sanchez. Berman Sanchez from Nicaragua, 29 wins, 11 defeats, three draws in his pro career. 43 bags, 218 rounds. Berman Alexis Sanchez, known as the La Cobra, 36 years of age, born in Managua in Nicaragua, now lives in Girona, Catalonia in Spain. His last fight was here in York Hall, Bethnal Green. He lost on points to Flavius Bier. In fact, he's lost his last three rounds. His last victory was in the Gymnasio Liceo San Joaquin Heredia against Stanley Mendes. And Mendes retired hurt. And please welcome his opponent, the Medway Mauler, Lewis Green. Lewis Green, the Medway Mauler, 27 years of age, resides in Strood in Kent. His last two fights have been victories. His last fight against Lukas Wierzbiski in Poland at the Hara Sportowa was a knockout, technical knockout victory for him. And here in York Hall in Bethnal Green, just prior to that, he this beat This is a world away Germani contest Camero. of eight three-minute rounds. Introducing in the blue points. corner, wearing the black shorts. Weighing in today at 10 stone and 12 pounds, with 29 victories, 21 early, 11 defeats and three draws from Spain via Nicaragua. La Cobra, Berman, Sanchez. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing the black shorts. Weighing in today at 10 stone and 11 pounds. With 11 victories, six by way and monocout, and just one defeat from 12 professional contests. The former Southern Area welterweight champion from Strood in Kent, the Medway Mola, Lewis Green. Your referee, Mark Lyson from Liverpool. Your timekeeper, Stephen Bucci. This is a world away contest of eight, the remaining round. Second out, round one. Two fighters into the centre of the ring for this Eight round bout, three minutes for each round. Berman Sanchez in the black shorts and blue boots taking on Lewis Green in all black. It's La Cobra against the Medway Mauler. Interesting to see whether or not Lewis Green's got any snake charming skills against La Cobra. <laughs> that should come in handy. We'll certainly be locking eyes during the course of this one, that's for sure. Green getting a few lefts in, but well guarded by Sanchez. Sanchez trying to get a big right into the body. Green, the taller of the two. Certainly has a slightly longer reach. Oh, 
we'll see just how much of an advantage that will be as this fight goes on. Most definitely. If he can make use of his long arms, keep his distance, keep control of the range, he shouldn't have a problem. Sanchez getting in close. Referee telling Sanchez to stop holding. Trying to come with a huge right then, Sanchez. from Sanchez but not troubling Green at all at the moment oh that was a very nice right from Green right as we get to the end of the round real shame for Green that because he caught Sanchez a beaut Corners, 10 seconds. Seconds out, round two. Into the second round. It was a very good end to the first round for Louis Green. Sanchez would have been glad of the, of the bell to go and have a sit down. working his way up Sanchez's body once again as Sanchez comes in green is offloading onto him. Both guys exchanging body shots there. Again, working the body, so too Sanchez. That's all either boxers offering each other at the moment. Saying if you can get round the side, then good for you. Oh, that was nice. Suddenly it went upstairs. Going with a glancing blow to Sanchez's face. Green just got inside of Sanchez's guard. Quite a cagey second round. Most definitely, most definitely. Both guys just exchanging the shots. And it seems both guys have answers to whatever the other person throws. And um, 
But no one has sort of taken the lead in this round. Potentially 24 minutes of boxing. And that is a long night. Second round, done and dusted. Six minutes done. But that's a really energy sapping eight times three to get through. Most definitely, and if both guys can keep this up. Both boxers getting information from their coaches. And one thing that's come out of, of coaching generally in all sport is Corners, that 10 seconds. athletes, no matter what the sport is, can only take so much information in terms of Second the information that you can Round take. Maybe three. two or three pieces. After that, it's irrelevant. So really important that the coaches get the right bits of information to the athlete. And most definitely, sometimes in the ring, there are things that you can see that your coach can't see. Sometimes the information can be conflicting. So you have to make your own judgment on the information based on what you're seeing and based on what you're hearing. So the relationship between you and your, your trainer, your coach, so important, the fact that there needs to be a two-way street. Most definitely. There has to be an element of trust in that relationship. And if there is no trust, there is no relationship. Much going yet in this round. Not really been allowed to. And trying to keep Sanchez away, and then once Sanchez does come in, it's not going anywhere. Referee makes the break. Sanchez coming in low, and at the same time managing to duck out of the way of a big right that came from Green. Referee having a word with Green, because Green's actually holding Sanchez. Considering that Green does have the height and reach advantage, this is a fight that is one that's being fought at an extremely close range. Most definitely. And um, in that sense, he's not making use of his natural and physical um, attributes against a shorter man. three draws to a close. Corners, 10 seconds. 
Seconds out, round four. Pretty busy start to round four between these two. But in terms of what would be best for Louis Green, probably not allowing Sanchez to get up and get in so close. Most definitely. I think he needs to make more use of his physical attributes and try and control Sanchez a little bit more, and that will make the fight easier for him as the rounds go on. Well, that was a really nice right that time from Green. Got right in through the defences of Sanchez. You felt that one. That was a beautifully executed screw shot. Now the screw shot is used to get through the guard and to pierce the guard when someone covers up. And again, Green, you get the feeling spurred on by that screw shot that got through, trying to get a few more going. Trying to rattle Sanchez. Again, it's Green taking this one to Sanchez. Several times he's done that there in this round. Most definitely. If Green can keep this up, he could probably get Sanchez out of there. Green will be feeling really good about things right now and the way this one's going. And again, he's got Sanchez bobbing and weaving, trying to avoid the flurry of blows that Lewis Green is landing on him, and again, Green going after Sanchez. The Medway Mauler is making some real headway in this round. Jab catching Sanchez unawares. Very good round that for Lewis Green. Corners, 10 seconds. Second out, round five. Into the fifth round, just over halfway through. This fight scheduled for eight. But as you rightly pointed out, Philip, if Lewis Green continues to go about this fight in the way he has, it may well not make it that far. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, Lewis Green has been in control from start to the current point. And I think if he steps up the pace just a little bit more, he may be able to end the fight quicker than the eighth round, but we'll have to wait and see how he plays out. Series of rights from Lewis Green. Nice wide stance, able to get his hand right into Sanchez. Up 
Sanchez is trying to get a right away of his own, but it was well defended, well blocked by Green. Sanchez to get in and do what he wants to do. And if anything, Green has started to open up a little bit more space between himself and Sanchez. But he's quite keen to come in and just slow things down as well. Most definitely, but once he opens up the space, he closes it again and doesn't actually make good use of it. once again on to Lewis Green about the holding which he's now doing on the, with his left arm slightly out of view of the referee blood in the eye of Sanchez that could play a big part in the outcome of this fight it's a clash of heads as they came in close Have to keep an eye literally on that and fortunately for Sanchez he'll go back to his corner and get that looked at. Most definitely. Well, there's not going to be a round six. That cut to the eye from Sanchez just proved to be too much in the end. And deciding that he wasn't going to come out. So retiring from the fight, it's victory. It's hard to fool a fight with one eye. Well, it's a real shame for Sanchez because he was uh, battling hard. Getting into it a little bit, actually, as time went on. But, I mean, it's hard to fight. It's hard to win a fight with two arms and two legs. You know, how much more one eye? So um, I can understand that decision. Lewis Green gets the victory. He'll be delighted with that. It was looking like perhaps it might have gone all the way because as often as Lewis Green put himself in a position to get things done, he then allowed Sanchez to get back into it again. Most definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the fifth round, Bevan Sanchez retires. Your winner. The Medway Mauler, Lewis Green. Congratulations to Lewis Green, the Medway Mauler, who's got the better of La Cobra, Berman Sanchez, who has retired hurt. Boxing event. I thank you to the officials from the British Boxing Board of Control, all of the boxers, and of course yourselves for coming out this evening. Have a safe journey home. Thank you.